OEME screen even. So this is also OEME, uh, the proxy, proximity sensor, airpiece uh, kit, airpiece kit and uh, some uh, proximity sensors. Okay, even these are also OEME part. But still uh, the face ID was not functioning and then I removed uh, Oh, Hello guys, so you are on Explorer TV. Actually today I'm going to show you when you replace the screen actually so why the face id won't work and there is a not available option or unable to process the face id after screen replacement actually the uh, these phone two phones and two screens are actually uh, oeme uh, screens so this is actually uh, like a, a nice screen and this is also an oeme screen but lots of scratches on it so this is my original phone uh, it fell down from a uh, the fifth floor actually so so it uh, bent it and uh, luckily the screen was not damaged okay and then now this phone i i bought from uh, kichiji actually for parts so somebody was selling on parts this is maybe icloud locked phone so he was selling cheap okay so now i i'm moving uh, my uh, my this motherboard the logic board uh, into the new casing actually uh, so now i'm going to tell you how to remove the mud logic board and the battery so battery is already i have removed so just put uh, some heat on on the glass of the back of the phone and then uh, you can remove the uh, battery so okay after removing the battery one two and three uh, this is the jacket of the uh, sim the nano sim jacket so you have to one two and three unscrew that and then uh, remove the uh, use a prior tool to remove this flex cable only one flex cable okay and remove this one place remove and then the second flex cable okay so and this flex cable this flex cable um, and this camera flex cable okay so this is the uh, one more flex cable this flex cable and this flex cable okay and there are one one screw here one uh one screw here and one here and one screw is here and then under uh, one, uh, there are two screws here one upper level and then after the sh uh, metal sheet there is another screw uh flat head screw actually the bigger one and one screw here and one on the, this corner okay so when you remove all these uh, you can easily remove uh, the logic board uh from the casing the housing uh oh there is one left so this one yes so the now you can easily remove the logic board and okay so how to remove the face id kit so just uh, be careful yeah so this is face id okay so so i removed face id uh, i put into the new one uh, the same same thing uh, i i put uh, into the new casing which i bought a brand new casing uh, which was on sale for parts so i put into new a new casing and then uh, i attached the new screen actually this is old screen the scratchy one and the new screen okay as it is i removed so when i put on and then uh, uh, it was still showing uh, face ID is not available. So after putting up, it's, it's actually OEME screen even. So this is also OEME, uh, the proxy proximity sensor, airpiece uh, kit, airpiece kit and uh, some uh, proximity sensors. Okay, even these are also OEME part. But still uh, the face ID was not functioning. And then I removed old, this is my old one. I removed this uh, kit and paste and install on uh, the new new screen, which is with the new parts phone. And then I uh, I fixed the screen and my face id was absolutely working fine everything fine okay so i just want to tell you how to remove uh and now uh, how to remove the proximity and airpiece kit just be careful uh while removing that uh, removing this part because this is a very sensitive uh, ic and uh, some sensors on it so this is iphone 10r now so apple made uh, this bigger kit and uh, proximity sensors it's easy to remove just to be careful some points so first uh, uh take a phillips head screwdriver and remove four Screws one, two, and three, and they are very, very tiny. I never seen an iPhone, so they are very tiny. So this is a different. Uh, you need a different uh, head uh, screwdriver. It's a little different than a Phillips head. So just remove this one and this one. Okay, this one, and then you can use the very tiny one is on here. Okay, so uh, one more thing I want to mention to you. There was a plate. This plate, uh, this plate was sitting on this sensor actually. So just uh, before removing this one, just watch for this plate. So just remove from here, here. Okay, so just uh, simply do the uh, this uh, airpiece kit like that, and then you can use a pry tool to do that. 
and there is a one uh, this is our sensor for the earpiece okay so before uh, th i already removed that so this just want to show you just careful on this sensor on this sensor just use your prior to slowly slowly and then uh, just be careful on this uh, from this point because this is more sensitive here and also this sensor this sensor is sitting uh, uh, sitting inside this uh, edge yeah so there is an edge here yeah sitting in this edge yeah just be careful and just remove like this from uh, this uh, edge okay for example yeah i inserted it back and this one and then uh, yeah so these are sitting like as it is so just remove this one slowly and then this one from there okay so i removed this uh, proximity kit and all sensors from my old screen which was not in good position and also obviously i bought a new phone about four parts so screen was this the screen was very brand new so why not i use uh, in my new phone so that's why so i removed this one from my old phone and install on this phone this screen okay and also i remove old proximity sen uh, face id sensor kit into my new phone okay so here it is so then when i install these all and face my screen everything was working fine